Hi everybody, my name's Bob Saunders and we're in our house in the south of France and a very strange thing happened the other day that I've never seen in all my life before that I can only describe as a shadow cat on this windowsill. Now, I've got no photographic proof of what I saw but I thought I'd explain anyway and you can once again make up your own mind <laughs> about whether it was real or not. Now, in this house, there's my wife, my son, me, four cats, and a dog. And the cats, especially in the winter, as it's winter now, it's like the 22nd of February, I think, it's, um, the cats love to come into our bedroom and sleep, like on the bed or on the furniture, if they can. If they're in the house, they'll come up the stairs and scratch on the door out there. But they've also learned, somehow, if they're out in the garden, to jump on the garage, which I'll show you in a minute, jump on the garage, jump on the roof of a veranda, and jump on this windowsill. Okay? And there they scratch at the window. I have to get out of bed, open the window, and so, so on. Now, on the night in question, which was about two weeks ago, I was in bed here, there's a cat here, but just ignore this one. My wife was here, fast asleep. I was awake. I wasn't asleep. It was about 3 o'clock in the morning, and I wasn't asleep. I was just lying there, mulling things over the way one does, when I heard one of the cats scratching at the window. Now, the cat in question was Myrtle, that I showed you a picture of uh, a little while ago. And she was standing on her hind legs here, scratching at this window like that. Now here was another cat, a black cat that we've got, that I showed you um, a, 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 a bit of film of, and uh, we called Chalky. And this cat was turning round and round and round. Now if you've ever owned a cat, you know that when they're a little bit excited about if they're going to be fed or whatever, they they tend to stand up and move backwards and forwards and go round and round. This cat was doing this. Now, this is where it gets interesting. I grabbed hold of this handle to open the window. I'm going to go like this, right? And instantly, as I touch this window, this cat stopped, the black cat stopped, looked in this direction, and as I started to open the window, and Myrtle, who was still standing up, her front feet were sliding down, so the rest of her body was in here. As I started to do that, this cat shot off, the black cat shot off at incredible speed in this direction, and in a millisecond was gone. Now, as it, as it shot off, and this is the bit that's difficult to understand and believe, as it shot off, here, it was a black, solid-looking cat, by the time it had got to here, it was already changing into what looked like smoke. Black smoke, it just... And by the time it had got over there, because I thought to, my, I thought to myself, my goodness, it's, it's Chalky, who's frightened for some reason, and has shot off, and it's a female cat. I thought she'll hurt herself if she jumps over, the, over this wrought iron stuff. So, I ripped open the window, Yet Myrtle jumped in here, and I looked here. And there's nothing, nothing, okay? Now, I'm going to try and show you round the corner here where this shadow thing disappeared. And as, as you can see, as the Paul's still holding the camera, as you can see, I hope you can see, there's no way for a cat to get through here. Uh, it didn't go out this way, it went that way, uh, at lightning speed, and a cat can't possibly get through this little gap. It didn't go over, and in a, in a flash it was gone. Now as you can also see, this is the roof of the veranda, that's the roof of the garage. And it shot out in that sort of general direction, but mostly it was gone by the time it got there. Okay. And effectively, the story ends there. 
Now all I can say is the speed that this cat went was, I, I can only liken it as if you've got a bow and an arrow and you, you shoot the arrow from the bow. It was as quick as that. Here it was a cat as it moved over there at this lightning speed it changed into just like first of all a sm smoke shape, uh, cat shaped smoke and then by the time it got there there was virtually nothing left and it was gone. Oh, I forgot to mention as Myrtle was still here this, this form, this smoky form went round, I saw it curve round the back of Myrtle now he didn't fly up and over this balustrade thing, it went straight out that way. The following evening, Chalky, the black cat, was here. And this time I noticed that she's a good deal bigger than this cat that I saw. This cat was really quite tiny in comparison. It, not, not, not a kitten, but a small adult cat turning round and round and round and looking very solid to my eyes.